If you are going to be using sunscreen at all this summer, then stick around for this quick video because I'm going to give you a little mini class on sunscreen, what to look for, what to avoid, and the best sunscreens that I have found. So whether you're gonna be at the beach or on vacation or you're just out running or walking or being active outdoors, really important to wear sunscreen and really important to know what you're actually putting onto your body when you use sunscreen. I never thought that sunscreen really mattered to me. Never really thought about it until I tried really good ones that didn't smell funny, that felt great on my skin, and then it totally changed everything for me. And so now there are certain sunscreens I will completely avoid and only certain products I will use. So I wanna share those with you and explain a little bit about how they work. So one of the reasons why different sunscreens actually matter is because the ingredients that are in them can be very toxic. Most of them absorb into your skin, and this is your protection for your body, right? But there's all these different chemicals that absorb into your skin and are not safe or healthy for you. Um, a lot of ingredients have been linked to things like endocrine disruption, meaning hormone disruption, which can throw off everything in your body, as well as skin allergies and issues. So you wanna stay away from those, as well as ones that cause problems like in the ocean that damage the coral reef and the, the lives down under the water. So some of the key ingredients you want to watch out for and avoid are oxybenzone, ox, octanoxate, <laughs> sorry if I butcher these names, um, homosalate, and avobenzone. So those are usually pretty obvious on the ingredient label, like right here, they'll show you if they're in there. And typically if your sunscreen doesn't clearly say like safe for coral reefs, no oxybenzone, no any of those ingredients, then it's probably basically a toxic sunscreen that you want to avoid. Additionally, if you see the word fragrance or natural fragrance anywhere on the label, that's basically a cover for chemical synthetic stuff. It's just a synthetic fragrance that's been added to the product, so you want to try to avoid those. Now, some of the things you want to actually look for are mineral sunscreens, and one of the main reasons for that is that rather than absorb into your skin, it is going to reflect the sun's rays off of your body, and you want to look for non-nano zinc. So what that means is basically the non-nano zinc are these tiny little molecules that are so small that they cannot absorb into your skin. So they just sit on the surface of your skin, help to reflect the sun's rays, and they do not absorb in, so you're not gonna be getting any of those chemicals or anything inside of your body. But to make things easier for you, I'm just gonna share with you some of my favorite products so you don't have to worry about doing so much of the research. And the reasons why I love these is because of what I just said. They're mineral, they're non-nano zinc, and they have no synthetic fragrance in them, but they also have no yucky smell to them. Like, even if it's synthetic, synthetic, most of the sunscreens out there, I cannot stand the smell of. I hate the smell of sunscreen. So these are really good because they aren't stinky, they actually smell nice, and they work super well. So one company and product is Beauty Counter. This stuff is amazing. So this one is the body sunscreen. Um, it's 30 SPF. Also something you should know about sunscreen is the higher you go, the more chemicals are required to get like SPF 60 and 75 and these crazy numbers, you don't need those. You just need an SPF like 30, even 25, 40, but just make sure to reapply it often. And one of the problems with those high number sunscreens is sometimes mentally, if you have on you know SPF 70, you feel like you don't really need to reapply, but you still do. So it's fine to get something that's lower in number. It's still gonna work great. Just make sure you reapply it. Um, and also this is water resistant for 40 minutes. So I've used it before going to the pool and doing activities and it totally stays on. Um, so this one is great. And then this one is very similar. Um, it's just designed for the face. So it has SPF 25, but it's also water resistant. And I love this one. If I could recommend a sunscreen to anyone, it would be this one, especially for women, because this one you can apply and then still put your makeup on top and not have a greasy face. It's amazing. It does not smell, it's very light. And again, you can wear it with, with makeup and you don't get that weird greasy thing going on with makeup. So this is like my top pick for sunscreen, especially for women, if you wanna wear anything else on top of it. And you will not get any like white or purple cast from this. So highly recommend this one. The other brand I have been using recently because it's brand new is doTERRA sunscreen. So these are just two, um, both companies have sprays, they have body sunscreen and they have face sunscreen. So lots of options. So this is a spray sunscreen, non-aerosol. 
It's water resistant. I wore this to the pool the other day and it totally stayed on and protected my skin. Um, so this works really well. Um, this does leave a little bit more of like a white uh, cast on your face or on your skin. So you do have to really rub it in to try and uh, get rid of that a little bit, but really good for like outdoor activities. And then this one is the face stick. I love this one because it goes on super duper easy. You don't have to get your hands messy. You can just rub it on your face. Um, and this works great. This is actually SPF 40. This one is definitely gonna be my go-to for like hiking or walking or biking or anything outdoors where I just need to put on sunscreen really quick. Cause you can just throw this like in your car or great for travel. And what's super cool about both of these is that they have a bunch of essential oils in them. So they have all these oils that are protective of your skin, nourishing to your skin. Can actually, some of them actually improve the appearance of skin like frankincense. So they have all these really amazing essential oils that are great for your skin. So it actually can kind of improve your skin while you're wearing it. And it smells so good. I love the smell of these. Like I said, I hate the smell of most sunscreens, but these ones smell really, really nice. Um, so highly recommend these. So that is your mini class on sunscreens. If you want to get either of these, the links are in my bio for Beauty Counter and doTERRA. If you have any questions about purchasing them, sunscreens or any of the products I mentioned, let me know. I love talking about non-toxic, healthy living products and stuff. So feel free to um, comment or shoot me a message if you have any questions.